Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the last few videos, we were looking at how to do certain operations on tables. Like how do I insert a record or some multiple records into a table? How do I update the records of a table? How do I delete the records of a table? In this next set of videos, we're going to take a step even further back and think about how to do operations on an entire database. So for example, how do I uh, add a whole table to the database? How do I update the columns of an existing table? And then in the end, how do I drop a table if I no longer care about it? So to start us off in this video, we'll look at the two main ways how you create a table in SQL. The first way, you're not assuming you have any other tables, you're just going to create a table um, by itself. So you have create table statement, you put the name of the table you'd like to create, in this case students, and the next part, which is the most important, this is called the schema of the table. It basically says what are the columns of the table going to be, and what data type are they going to be. So you have to declare the name of the columns and also what type of data will live in the columns so that later on when you insert stuff, it knows if this insertion is legal or not. So in this case, we're going to have our four columns in our student data as we've been working with. We have the name of the student. The type of that is varchar or variable character. This is basically like a string. And then inside here, you put the maximum length of the string. So I'm basically saying that the name of the student is a string with maximum length 255 letters. The next one, the GPA, is a float, which you'll probably recognize as a floating point number, so a decimal. The next is the major, which is also a string with a maximum of 255 characters. And the last year, since it can only be 1, 2, 3, or 4, I'm saying that's an integer. There are many, many more data types in SQL, and uh, we'll have a whole video just on that, so no need to worry about what all the different things you can put in. But if I run this cell, and then I execute select everything from students, we see that the table exists. It's just that there's nothing in there right now. But we see that if we do select everything from students, we don't get an error. We get this uh, table itself with no data. Now let's add some data into here. So this insert statement is from the insert video. I'm just adding a bunch of students into there. And let's look at the other way to create a table. And first, let me select everything from students again so you can see that it's populated with some students. Now the other way to create a table, um, a lot of times you'll have the use case where you want to create a new table using uh, the schema or the column names and data types from a different table. So in this case, let's say I want to create a table called new students, and I want to populate it with everything that's in my current students table. So that's pretty easy to do. I do create table new students as, and then I just do select everything from students. So what the statement does behind the scenes, it selects everything from students. So I get this whole table here. And then we create a new table called new students using that data. So if I run that cell and then I select everything from new students, we see it looks identical to students, but they are two different tables um, in the database. Now there's different ways to uh, execute this statement. That was the basic way where you just select everything. Sometimes you just want to select certain rows. Like for example, let's say I want to create new students as a table, including only the math majors from my original students table. Not too difficult. We just create a table called new students two, as select everything from students if the major is math. So doing that, we get a new table where only math majors from the original. And even some other times, you might not want to import any data from your existing table. You just want the column names and data types, and then you're going to fill in your own data into there later. So how would you select no data from there? Well, we can use this kind of hacky way. We can say create table new students three as select everything from students where one equals two. Now, one never equals two. This is obviously false, right? So this will select no rows at all from my students' data. It will only import the column names and data types. So if I run these guys, we get that new students three is basically the same column names and data types as students, but it has no data. So now we can fill in whatever we want into here. And that's it. That's the basic ways how to create a table in SQL. So next we'll look at how do I update the columns of an existing table. 